Hello everyone! I hope you had a wonderful week. In this week's video, I am going to be showing you how you can make this component. Now this component is a little bit, um, what do you call? I mean, it's like a intermediate level of beading. It's not hard. You can call it a beginner's level as well, but I'd like to call it an intermediate level of beading. Like last time, I showed you how to make a component using only this part of my work, right? This was the actual pendant, I mean actual component. I have promised to show you how to make this component as well, how to make this into a earring. But while I was designing this, I found a lot of problem, like I'll show you here. A lot of thread was showing here and there. Yeah. You can see a lot of thread is being shown right here. And I didn't like quite this part of my component. So I thought of just changing that part and then just making it into this much. But then I found some flaws here and there and I decided that I'm going to change um, this uh, component. So this one I designed, I mean I redesigned using the same pattern and it was really fun to make. I mean it was like, whoa, it was like a beautiful component, a little bigger than the last one that we did last week. It was really fun. It, this could be made into a pendant, an earring, or maybe you can join these together in different ways to make it into a bracelet. But as for me, I'm going to show this one to you using some seed beads, some crystals, and I'll tell you the list of the materials right just right now. And then this is the actual uh, design that I'm going to be showing you today. So actually, these two things are the same, just that in, in here. I've used a lot of 6mm pearls and in this one I used only 4 6mm pearls and then some 4mm bicons. So let me just keep this aside. So to make one part of a pair of earrings you're going to require 4 pearls, 4 6mm pearls and then you're going to also require some Edo seed beads. You're going to require only 4 of these, a 6mm Monty, uh, also some um, 4 millimeter bicons, a jump ring, one ear wire and also some seed beads. You are only going to require 2 grams of 11-0 um, seed beads. Uh, along with that you are going to require one arm span long of thread and then a size 10 beading needle. So let's get started. Just like last time what I did was I took 4 pearls and then I just added in, um, I just closed the work in a round and I am coming out of a pearl right now. So I'm going to pick up an Edo, go through, okay let me just put these things aside so you can get a clearer view of my whole thing, okay. Okay, going to, whoops, going to the next pull pick up an Edo going to the next whirl an Edo going to the next pearl an Edo and going to the next pearl bead I'm going to cut off my tail thread at this point and then I'm done with my edos. Now I'm going to do the top part of my work. So I'm going to require a Monty and a few of my 11 O's. I'm going to pick up an 11, take a Monty, go right there and pick up a Monty as well. My thread is coming out of this direction so on to the opposite pearl I'm going to go in the same direction so that when I pull I have this pick up an 11 going to the opposite holes of the Monty and 
and then pick up a seed bead an 11 and going to the first pearl this is just like last time guys we're just repeating the same pattern okay like the same component we're going to do the same thing again and again but if you haven't seen that one I'm gonna put the link of that video in the description box below I'm coming out of a pull I'm gonna go into my Edo and then there comes the part of my 11s okay I'm going to pick up seven 11 O's one two three four five six and seven 11 O's and I'm going to go through the next eight O I'm gonna repeat this all the way around so do that and I'll come and meet you okay I'm done with my 11 O's I'm coming out of an 8 what I now what I'm now going to do is that I'm going to go into four of the 11 O's four of those and right there I'm gonna pick up three 11's And then, while I'm coming out of the same 11, in one direction, I'm going to go into that same 11 O in a round. So if my thread is coming out of this direction, I'm going to go into here, in this side. So that, I now form a picot. Now go into the next three, and also the eight O. and then pull your thread this is where we're going to make a change we're going to pick up three elevens again and we're going to go into that same arrow we didn't have this when we were making the last component of my last week's video now I'm coming out of this arrow so Again, I'm going to go into four of my previous 11s and I'm going to make a picot of three beads. So I picked up three 11s and I'm going to make a circle so that I now have a picot again. I'm going to go into the next three seed beads and also the edo I'm going to pick up three elevens and I'm going to do a picot on that eight as well this is the change that we are doing from last week's video so what you'll see here is that you have a picot on the middle bead of those initial seven beads that we added that is the 11 O's and then you're also going to do a picot on those eight O's okay so you can do that all the way around and you're gonna end here on this eight O seed bead and make a picot right there so you do that and and I'm gonna come and meet you right there okay I'm now done with my component that is this one here I have done picots on the middle bead of those uh, initial seven beads that we had added on and then I also have picots on those eight OC beads which doesn't look good right now but I promise that it will look good when I'm done so this is where it's going to be a little hard so you gotta pay attention my thread is coming out of this eight O in this direction what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this bead right here if you can just see this bead the right side bead of the pick cord maybe and that way you'll be able to understand it well and then I'm also going to go into that top bead right there you can see
okay and pull so I'm coming out of the top bead of my picot this time what we're going to do is we're going to do the last round of our work and that is just filling up those gaps and to do that you're going to require your four millimeters you're going to pick up an 11 a 4 and an 11 I'm coming out of the top bead of my picot so I'm going to go into the top bead of my next picot in this direction okay in this way you're gonna pull tight an 11 a 4 millimeter and an 11 and go into the top bead of my next picot that is on top of the Edo pick up an 11 a 4 millimeter and an 11 and go into the next top bead of my picot 11 4 millimeter and 11 and go onto the top bead of your next picot this is what you're going to do the whole round of your piece okay I'm at the end where I'm going to supposed to be adding in the last bead I'm coming out of the top bead so I'm going to go into the next top bead of my work and this way you can see that my work is a little bit squeezed but never mind you can always fix that now I need to only work around here okay let me show you something over here if you'll just notice our beads are sitting horizontally I mean vertically and horizontally I need to make my last picots on these four sides so if I by mistake make a picot here 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 and here it won't look good so you need to do your last set of picots on in front of your pearls okay not here you're going to do it in front of your pearls so if my thread is coming out of here to make my next picot I need to go into this 11 and the 4 millimeter and also the next two 11s so just do that go through it and pull tight pick up three elevens and go into that same bead all over again I'm having a hard time going into that bead yeah I went through and also the next 11 go into the next bicon the three beads that is right there and also the next bicon and go into the next two beads because I need to make a picot right there pick up three elevens and go into that same bead and also the bead in front you see I'm done with that picot I'm going to do that all the way around I mean the four sides of my beads pick up three elevens into that same bead and the bead next to it and the bicon pull tight remember every time you're doing that you're pulling tight if you don't pull tight your work is going to look really ugly 
so this is my last bead I need to make a picot this is the last picot and there you go go through several beads and make some half hitch knots if you want you could always reinforce your work because you need to make sure that your jewelry is really fun but it's really up to the mark I mean it doesn't come off easily so make sure that your work is secure I think mine is so at this point here I'm going to cut off my extra thread and then adjust my whole piece this is kind of like a 3d um, component just a little bit different though so this is how it comes out to be you can always push those pearls to the top because they are like the main attraction to your component and then in the last step what you're going to do is you're going to pick up your jump ring go into one of your beads and then close in with your ear wire I'm going to do that later on so this is how your component must look like once you're done with the whole thing okay so I hope that the video was clear enough for you to understand I hope I have given you some inspiration to do something with this component I hope that you come up with various wonderful color combinations of this component I mean it's so easy and fast to um, fast to make this uh, kind of earring uh, if you want to go for a beat show I mean beat shows are on their way guys you need to come up with fast working designs so that you could display your earrings and your components and blah 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 so I hope that the, this earring was some inspiration to you I hope that you like the video give it a thumbs up if you actually like this and please subscribe to my channel because it's growing day by day and thank you for your for all your comments and your um, support to my channel i hope that everything was clear again i'm saying that again i'm saying that <laughs> because uh, it uh, it is really important for me that you understand the component if you don't understand any part if uh, i'm unable to explain it in some way you could always um, give me a comment in the uh, comment section and maybe if you want some changes in my video then please um, tell me I hope that um, I'll be of any help to you and thank you so much for making it um, uh, I mean thank you so much for making it an effort to help me grow it with my channel so that's all I'm talking a lot today don't am I am I not <laughs> anyways that's all for now um, I'll see you next time bye